It's all about the jazz, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Colonization. Now that I put some milk in me and took a few minutes of relaxation, it's time to continue to hopefully succeed. <laughs> but I make no guarantees, everybody. Last episode saw us building uh, more roads, uh, conquering uh, a Dutch merchantman, I think it was, that had some tools and um, muskets on it and some trade goods. I took the tools and muskets, and I taught somebody how to fucking fish. This episode will have us, um, hmm. I'm going to take this caravel over here and send a free colonist down there, like maybe that free colonist. Or maybe I'll keep him on the boat, I'm not sure. You, on the other hand, will go back there, and maybe I'll send another free colonist down, I'm not sure. I want to teach more people how to fish. I mean, if I ever want them to learn something different, I can just clear their professions. It's no big deal. <laughs> but for now, I want to uh, get some sort of efficiency rocking and rolling and a hipping and a hopping and a bobbing and a zipping. And that's what I'll do. Also, I think my scout is here. No, he's not. Well, fuck. The scout that I was running and a rocking. Back home. Excuse me, I think I just burped on camera. Oh, dear. <laughs> To learn what the fuck it is that these Indians can teach me. That sounds like a good idea to figure that out, folks. Speak with the chief. Seasoned scouts, they really want... Coats. Y you want coats? <coughs> is this some sort of trick? Is this a joke? Because <laughs> if you want coats, dude, I can get you coats, man. He's all about the jazz. <laughs> God damn it, girl, shut up. But it is all about the jazz, baby. <laughs> I I lost it. I should not have had any milk to drink. I'm I've gone crazy. He's on fire. No, I'm not. I'm not on fire. It, it's not true. God damn it. Still learning whole drag mechanics and transportation and everything. It's not easy, folks. It's not easy being me. Twelve coats. I'll take them twelve coats and some trade goods. I hope they like that. Because if they don't, I'll just have to kill them. <laughs> we have so many untrained people here. It's it's ridic. I just said ridic. Tell you to sentry slash board ship. I like the sound of that. And I'll also tell somebody else here to sentry slash board ship. No. Whenever that pioneer finishes and comes up here, or the tobacconist, tell you what, I can actually have the tobacconist drop his profession and go back because I'm really not, I know he's a master and everything, but I'm really not using his profession, so why not make him more useful to me? What about my needs, children, my needs? I guess I could keep him around for just a little bit longer. I mean, I might need that someday. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, in that case, go over here and visit these engines. Trade with the village. I like to trade these 12 coats. Uh, fair price would be that. Damn. Need a rum of cigars. Even horses would be of some value. Would I like to buy anything? Nah. I thought you could trade more than one get at a time, but I didn't know. So, now I know. I guess I'll try taking them to trade goods next time, and hope they'll accept that. If not, argh, you're gonna get out of range of me! <laughs> it's not fair, everybody. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> uh, I don't know if actually selling them those coats was a good deal in the long run. Let's see, the price here was 10 per coat. And the price they gave me was like 72 for what? I forgot how many coats I sold them already. I actually don't think. Trading with them was worth it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Get those off of there. This colonist here needs to hop on the next fucking ship in order to do that. He needs room. So we'll just take the horses with us and we'll see what happens. All aboard. You better fucking... There we go. You did it right. Go talk to these people. See what they can teach me. See, God damn it. <laughs> I, I, words have no meaning. 
Do not convey how upset I am. It, or will these guns spoil? Oh, god damn it. The guns will spoil, everybody. That is just no good. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take this veteran soldier out of here. Just so those guns won't spoil. And we definitely need to work on building uh, another warehouse expansion in the near future. Now let's go and see and hope and pray we can maybe catch that galleon someday. And eat some curds and whey, hey? Trade with the village. Mmm, fair price would be that. We gratefully accept. Alrighty, we will definitely keep that in mind. I don't want anything, though. Actually, you know, I may end up being able to make some sort of profit by acquiring this stuff. Tell you what, I'll give it a shot. Your wagons with 100 cotton in exchange for that. Huh. That's what, 2.6 gold per cotton? I guess I could try to lower the price further, but that looks like a pretty good deal to me. Yeah, that's 2.6 gold pieces per cotton. And I can easily make that into cloth, and that will easily sell. So, no, this will be a fair price, so I'm not going to haggle with you anymore, and God forbid I get myself screwed over. I wouldn't want to do that and piss him off. Let me go, go and check. Thank you. Thank you... We'll wait for this shit to move around some more. Yes, yes. You're continuing to succeed. I'm happy. Good. Rebel sentiment is rising. View. European status. Cotton? I'd have to buy for six. So, at the very least, I've... I'll still make a profit by selling that, and if I make that into cloth, that would be more valuable than the coats. So I think that was a good trade, everybody. I think. Some of you were like, you could have haggled that down even more. Eh, probably. But I did. It's still a good deal. I still didn't lose out on money, everybody. Now, let's go see if I can catch this galleon. It's probably already moved into the sea lane. Oh, dick! I just moved straight over there. Well... I didn't. <laughs> Best statement ever. I didn't. Okay, is that what you wanted to hear? I did it wrong. Are you happy? Did I amuse you? Go ahead and take this tobacco with you. See if I can take I can take more horses with us. Um go be fruitful and multiply, I reckon. You move to that square, you move to the schoolhouse. You move there and grow a grow a bit of food. You're pretty good. I guess that's because of our sentiment here. It's pretty nice, thanks to our elder statesman producing liberty bells for us. That's really good. We don't need to produce any more tools, though. We, we are good at tools for the time being. So go back over there, make more hammers. Alrighty. And veteran soldier, you can just fortify for the time being. Okie dokie, buddy. That's right. Choo -choo. I approve of that sound. Hmm. That galleon is gonna escape from me! Ah, damn it. <laughs> you cheated now. Cheated! That may be sad, everybody. <sighs> You're in here. I can feel it in my bones. You're in there. I will wait there just for you. Okie dokie. Since I have all this cotton here, why don't I try weaving it instead? Make some cloth out of it, and then I can sell that as well. Matter of fact, I'll take this guy who is actually capturing fur... That's an indentured servant, though. Well, shit. <laughs> shit is right. I guess I can still... No. 
That would be like inefficient and stuff, wouldn't it, everybody? It would be. Sigh. I hate inefficiency. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't know what I want to move now. I don't exactly have anything I need to transport right now, do I? Other than supplies here in SKS. So I'll go and move my wagon train back there. You, I will send back to Europe with some goodies to sell. Goodies! Nah, see, goodies. And speak with this chief. Master tobacco planners. That's not bad, but apparently I hadn't talked with him before. <laughs> Thank you for telling me of nearby lands. Really appreciate that. No! <laughs> ah! Money and opportunity. In sorrow. Ah, no! <laughs> he escaped, didn't he? Ah! <laughs> Why do you torment me? <laughs> Where are your gods? <laughs> this isn't fair. You can't hear, you can't understand me under the sound of my protesting. I know, children. I know. Go make this. Please make this. I need more carpenters. That's my ruling on the matter. I need more of them. I definitely need to make a change. The cargo of ore? We're doing well. I approve. Uh, I approve so much, I just lost my train of thought. How much would it cost to buy? Yeah. <laughs> let's pretend we didn't see that grotesque number. Now let's go to Europe. Let's say I want to recruit somebody. That's all I'd be able to get. Damn it. Let's have a chat with you Indians over here. Hello! Expert farmers. That could be good. Sure. That that could be very handy. Handy and useful and everything. And gumdrops and rainbow kittens and you're already gone. There is no hope. No chance. I will just attack this merchantman here. And steal 100 muskets. <laughs> no. You're the reason why the musket price is going up so fucking high. Good lord in heaven. I, I'm definitely glad I stole those now. Um, tobacconist. You can... Listen, buddy. You're going to run here to Montreal. Montreal's going to send a free colonist down there to learn. And it'll all be good. It'll all be gravy. But first... Feel like I need to send somebody to go be a, a farmer. I don't know. Not really. Actually, not really feeling compelled. Like I really need to. It's we're we're definitely good. We are eating a lot of food though. Oh well. Uh, all right. You are going to take that, that, and you can't take anything else. In that case. Can I activate you? You'll already be activated, I hope. Oh, you will be, okay. Move over there, then. And you move there, you'll have 20 tools. That's cool. Alrighty. We're doing it, everybody. We're succeeding. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. We might actually be fucking this up, everybody. Oh my god. Tell you what, I'm gonna pretend I don't see those. <laughs> Just gonna go la 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 la. Bye, burr. Firebrand preacher, Jesuit missionary, master weaver. I can make a lot of cloth with a master weaver and sell it for money. Yes, I could. How much cloth would I have to sell in order to get a return on that, though? In order to make that worthwhile, I would have to sell at least one stack of cloth. I could get that done, right, folks? 
I don't know. I think that's actually a good investment. Because I can definitely get more cotton from the Indians. And all of the sides will at least have another colonist around. He'll be a master at something. So I'll go with that. I will uh, take this guy along with me. That really blew my load in terms of cash. So if somebody wants another bribe, I will not be able to provide. Expert fur trapper, nah. Cloth is the way to go, baby. It's all about the cloth, even though I don't really produce that on my own. Montreal is the city I think I need to go to. So we'll go there. Yep, that's it. Alrighty. You. Actually, I'm going to kick you. Not you. God damn it. We're doing it wrong again, everybody. You do that. Actually, I could send the indentured servant to get training, couldn't I? You could still learn stuff, right? Through education, you can become a free colonist. Yes. I'll kick you out. Be a colonist. You can actually go produce more cloth for me. Brilliant! This is genius! I am expert at everything forever. <laughs> Probably not forever, folks. Probably not forever. But I like the sound of what, where this is going and what I'm doing. And you actually go produce more hammers. I've got enough to spare. That'll be fine, everybody. You go sit your ass there. Sit your ass down. And I guess we'll wait around and see some turns roll by. Yeah, turns roll by. They got wheels. <laughs> and stuff. No. <laughs> Sweet. Sweetness. Where was that free colonist at? I totally missed you. Alright, that's one fisherman, that's a two fisherman, that's a three fisherman. Cody. In that case, tell you what. I'll go send this guy who's actually teaching at the schoolhouse. Nah. I'll send you. Get out of here. You go be a colonist. And you. Actually, I'll still be producing a spare food. That's sweet. I don't know. You actually don't have to be there. I can have you do something else, theoretically. Like, say... Oh, holy potatoes. Uh, I don't know what else I would want you to do. What if I have you do that? What if I have you do that? What if I have you... You can't go there. What if I were a superhero? <laughs> that doesn't make... I could have you make guns. Pew, pew. Nah. You go produce more food. And we could potentially grow another colonist out of you. And then we can do a happy dance. I don't know. Uh, oh, there's a capital. Capital pain. Make sure I don't step on a that spot, the Lost City rumor. I want to avoid those, folks. Mr. Wagon, Chuck Wagon over here, you can... I guess you can go to Quebec and pick up some random garbage sitting in there. Indentured Servant, you can go to Quebec as well. Right. Yeah. Woohoo! Free colonist! That equals more opportunity, everybody. You go ahead and head on over there. Asked to speak with these guys again. Master Sugar Planner. Uh, rum can be valuable too, but I exactly. I, I don't think I really have a place to produce uh, that. I don't have a whole lot of swampland around. I don't think. But again, what the fuck do I know? Not like I fucking know how to play this game or anything. Um. Right. You brought him, which will allow you to do that. We're even on food now. Reducing 12 of that per turn. Hells yes. Reducing 12 hammers per turn, which is also great. Could you dig it? I think the next thing we can build is something to improve our weaver house. We're not exactly growing cotton, but I think we can get that from the Indians pretty cheaply. 
As long as we trade them stuff. I think. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm no fucking expert here. But I like to I like to hope and dream that I'll be able to succeed and do something. In my life. This privateer can go. Well, maybe there's a ship down there that's waiting on me. Has my name on it. it says Grimoth Jack Reaper right there. For all to see. I don't think so, folks. Damn. Uh, I can load you up with goods to take to the city up there to make into stuff and sell and, and everything else. This fisherman is actually heading back up, I remember now. That's cool. So you can go ahead and head on back up there yourself, buddy. You're down there. You go to... Wait, 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 wait. Now that this guy is here, you go there. You go here. We're producing food. I will educate you and make you better. Stronger and faster and more powerful than you ever deemed possible. It's all yours. It's in the power of your hand. The palm of your hand. It's... It's like rain on a warm, sunny day. <laughs> that'll take care of this turn, and I think that'll take care of uh, this session. We produced a privateer, which is fantastic. And the next thing I will build here is... Golly. That would allow me to train master weavers. Which I could use to make even more cloth, which would be ridiculous. Master, ma master, master blacksmith would be good too. I tell you what, I'm just gonna, I'll have that sit on college right now. But this is my final turn for the session, so I'll end it here. Let me know what you folks think. The year is, uh, we're in fall 1621 right now. I've got a long time to go before I have to declare independence or anything. Uh, I may have to uh, deal with the English in the future. Since, you know, I continue to loot their ships and pirate them and everything. Uh, their dragoons aren't trained. So, that's good. But they still have dragoons. And I don't know how many units they have, but presumably they have quite a bit. I would very love to capture uh, Jamestown and Plymouth, though, simply because they have so many colonists of them. And they only have stockades defending them. I don't know, folks. Uh, give me your feedback, though. Let me know what you folks think. What you would do if you were armchairing this colonization session, or, or playing it as opposed to armchairing him. Yeah, I'll talk to you folks next time. This is Grimoth, signing out. France is awesome!